Hello there, soulmates and precious. Welcome to our free online tutorial. Yes, free. <laughs> okay, so I'll be teaching us, you know, so many things here. It's going to be a six or a five days intensive class. This class is going to be really intensive. I want us to, you know, follow up. On this video, I'll be showing us, you know, the materials we need and how to take accurate measurements. Now, well, what prompted me like, to do this free class is because I noticed most of the issues we have on the group when we post pictures, where did I get it wrong? It's mainly around this upper region, which is our bodies. There's so many things you can do where you know how to draft your bodies accurately, whether you're drafting with your full scale or your half scale, you know. There are so many things you can do. So I'm going to be teaching us how to do these things and I will make it as easy as possible, okay? So I'm going to be teaching us how to draft our bodies full scale, half scale. I'll teach us how to, you know, you get your armhole princess dance, your bustier from your bodies, you know. It is just so easy. You can manipulate or do anything on it. I'm just going to be teaching us that. But before then, on this video, I'll be showing us how to take accurate measurements. Yes. That is one of the most, you know, important thing. When you take your accurate measurements, it gives you a perfect fit after your garment, you know, when you're through sewing. So I'm going to be teaching us how to take accurate measurements. And I will also show us the required materials we need for this tutorial. Please, you can get them, okay? So if you, if, if you, if you can't get them, just try, please, just try. But I really want us to follow up. This is 2019, ladies and gentlemen. We need to get it right, okay? Designers are taking over. We need to get it right, okay? So I'll be showing us the required materials now. All right, so here are just the little things we need, you know, for this class. This is a paper tape. Can you see? You need this. And these are my French cup. Yes, I know I did that long. These are my French cup. Now, don't get scared when you see these things, okay, ladies? You can use, you know, any of them. If you have this, if you have this, or this, or even your pattern master. All you need is probably a straight ruler and any of the curve, you know, anyone that has this curve. Can you see? So you don't need to have all, okay? So if you have any one, it can serve. The most important is... A straight ruler ladies so I'm just gonna keep this aside yeah you need this paper okay you need this paper this is a white paper you can also get the brown paper you can make use of a newspaper but yes for those of us that might want to ask oh precious where did you get this paper you can get it from any printing press around you don't go to the market please you won't get it it's mostly sold by those that print papers okay that prints okay so you get it from there and it's cheap. I think it's about 3,000 plus or so for almost or more than 100 pieces, okay? So here you need a tracing wheel. You can get it from your local vendor, sorry, from your mm, tailoring accessory. Those that sell around you is cheap as well, it's about 250 or 300, you can get this. I'm going to be using the marker print so that it will be visible to us to, uh, for us to see, but you need a biro or a pencil. Don't forget, you also need an eraser just in case you make a mistake. Here I have pins. Can you see? You need pins as well. Can you see? So I have the most important is your tape rule. Okay. And yes, I have two scissors, you know, one for paper, one for fabric. Now you can also transfer this to the fabric after we finish. I like to do a test fit, so I don't know if I'll be transferring to the fabric to show us. But if, yes, if I think it's necessary, or maybe I might just transfer it to the fabric, but I'm not with any fabric here. So you can get calico, known as teru, uh, you know, you can get it for practice, okay? So that is all for the required materials. So next we'll be learning how to take our accurate measurement to draft our basic bodice block full and half scale okay now is the main deal how to take your accurate measurements i'm going to take it a little bit slow because some people say i talk fast most times i'm camera shy though so how to take our accurate measurements before we do that i want to explain something to us you know our front length is actually different from our back length okay now probably is because we have bust in front okay so over time, I found that our consider our back to puff is just the difference between the front length 
and the back length. And most time is usually up to two inches. You can imagine two whole inches, yes. Now, so, because when we're adapting our bodies, I will show us how to use our bust that, you know, to make our front length match with the back length. Now, what we'll do is this. When you want to take your measurements, this is my navel. You can tie a little bit, probably one inch or 1.5 or maximum of two inches above your navel. Now, you need to take from your shoulder to where you have tied. I'll be displaying that on our body form here. Let's assume this is the body form's navel, okay? Now, and I want to take her accurate measurement. I'm just going to go up a little bit. Now, this is not the standard, okay? Because most times, some of our, our um, clients might want you to bring the half length up to their navel, okay? So, if you have a style that requires your half length to get to your navel, please feel free. But if you're making something that the half length does not require to get to your navel, just don't bother yourself about that. Just, you know, go up by two inches and tie it up like this okay it's always good to tie you know your waistline then if you can't tie just ask your client to bend over a bit can you see when i bend over this part that goes in is my waistline that tiny part of our waist okay so most times when i do that i get my accurate half length okay you can also ask your client to do that now you measure from your shoulder here can you see where i'm pointing from there, you just measure all the way down, you know, it will go across your bust like this, you know, to where our tape starts from. This year, I have 16.5, so to the back as well, sorry, I'm going to need to adjust this tape a little bit higher, okay? Remember, this is a body form or a dress form, it's not a real human body, I'm just using it to illustrate to us. So for the back, I'm still going to repeat the same thing from the shoulder there, okay, down, okay, and you can see I have 15.5. So for my dress form, the difference, sorry, the difference between, you know, the up and the down of my dress form is one inch, okay, sorry about this, I didn't tighten it. So the difference between the front and the back of my dress form is just one inch, okay. So, for my dress from is one inch. Now, I'm going to be showing you how to take the bust um, circumference measurements. So, to take your full bust circumference, you need, you know, your tape to go around the fullest part of, uh, part of your bust. Now, don't forget, the reason why I explained the difference between our front and our back length is that it is very important. That is the first thing we need to know. Okay, so, this is it. Our, you make sure you take it around like this. Can you see? Next, we'll be needing is from our shoulder here, you know, to the bust points. You also need from your shoulder to your under bust. Can you see? Make sure you take this measurement firmly. You also need your round under bust circumference measurements. Can you see? Like I always tell my students, if you know. When you're taking the measurements for your client, you don't stand in front of that person. Most people, they feel uncomfortable when you do that. Always make sure you take from the sides, okay? So you need your waist measurement. Can you see? You also need your nipple to nipple measurement. This is your bust pan, okay? You need this measurement, okay? There are other ways of calculating it. It works for some people. And it doesn't work for some people. So as we proceed in our tutorials, I'll be revealing all these things to us. Your success, okay, is as well mine, also mine. Most you might need your round ample, you know, circumference measurement. This is optional, okay. You also need your front width. Yeah, this part of the measurement, like I said, is very important. The front width is just take the whole your front measurement. Don't take it into your armhole. Just your front width here, in the midpoint of your armhole here, like this. Now let's turn to the back. You also need your back width measurement as well, okay, like this. You need your shoulder measurements. Can you see? Your shoulder measurements. Now to the front, like I said, your front width and your back width measurements are very important. They are as important as the front length and the back length, okay? So I said you need your round and measurement. 
just around your ample circumference measurement. You need your front width, your back width, your shoulder measurements, okay? You also need from your shoulder to nipple point, that's your bust point. You need from your shoulder to under bust, your shoulder to your front length, from the back to your back length, okay? So for now, these are the required measurements are very important, okay? As we proceed, if there are any other measurements, I would let you know. Now, if we're drafting our full bodies, you know, for the full scale, the full scale is just all about your normal blouse length, where you want it to reach. Now, of course, our front length and our back length is still not the same, okay? So when we get to the full scale, I will let us know what to do then. So, but then, this is how you take the front and also the back. Or, you can use your half, your difference between the back length and your front length when you're making your full scale bodies, okay? For the full scale, you also need your hip, you know, circumference measurement. And you also need to measure from your waistline to your hip line. So the hip point is where you have the sharp part of your hip. You need to measure it. It's usually between 7 inches, it depends, or 8. Maximum, you know, of 9 inches. That's for a plus size, okay? So, as we proceed in this tutorial, you know, with your questions, okay, I would know how to respond. And, of course, at the end of the tutorial, we're going to have a live video where we'll have a question and answer, you know, series. You need to come out and ask your questions. I'll read them up and answer you, okay? Like I said, designers are thinking over, this is 2019. You need to upgrade that skill. If you love it, upgrade it. I'll be teaching you the little I know. And please, if you're a professional in the house, feel free to assist us as well. You know, we are all learning. I am still learning myself. Thank you so much. My name is Precious Auntie Taylor, or CC Taylor, as most of you call me. I am Precious Ogomieno, your online tutor. Bye.